hello i see in this here 86 wives yes no lie 86 wives and how are you doing today indy this is going to be a really quick stream so it's going to be very short i wouldn't be here for long because i've got another stream later on i hope you're well indy 86 wives yes he well he did have 86 wives he's uh uh, he's no longer with us. He's uh, he's 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 done his time. <laughs> he's he's done his time here, so he's no longer here with us. Good afternoon, and yes, first one here. I'm good. I'm I'm well, thank you. I'm I'm doing really good. Thank you very much. And so, right. Let me share my screen here. So, the man we're talking about, his name is Muhammad, Muhammad Balo Abubakar. Uh, Muhammad Balo Abubakar Masaba Bida. He, let's see, he was also known as Muhammad Balo Abubakar, was born in Nigeria. Masaba is known for having stirred up controversy in his hometown, Beda, Niger State, due to his extensive polygamy and for being outspoken. He was charged under the Sharia law and sent to prison in 2008 for refusing to divorce 82 of his wives. So when the Muslim people, even they themselves say, no, this is unacceptable. They, they, Anyway, we'll, we'll watch a couple of videos and you'll understand, you'll understand why. So it says here that Islam limits the number of wives a Muslim man can marry to four. So a Muslim man can marry four. Mandating that they must all be treated equally. Guys, listen to this. This man married one 120 wives 120 wives altogether he divorced 10 and fathered 203 children at the time of his death in 2017 some of his wives were believed to be pregnant now this is where it gets good really good he was a teacher and an imam. Teacher of the religion of Islam and an imam. So he was not a um, just your everyday Muslim. This man was a teacher of Islam. He lived in an entire apartment block with his family. Masaba claimed that he never pursued his wives and that he was sought by them due to his reputation as a healer. So on top of being a, a teacher and an imam, he was also a healer. Most of his wives were younger than 30 years of age. Can you imagine, guys? This man, I think he was 90-something when he died. But most of his wives were younger than 30 years of age and a few younger than his elder children his wives claimed that he was a good husband and a good father hmm, guys ah this is this is something okay let me um yes rest in peace indeed rest in peace hey daddy he's good morning good to see you here lilith good morning Lily, this man, 86 wives, 86. He married 120 and divorced 10. <laughs> Anyways, here we go, guys. Let, let me I'll show you a couple of videos. Let's see. Okay, here. Let's have a look here. I will change my clicky mouse very soon.
to share, share here. So this is a problem that we have in Africa, where men who believe in this religion, they would take the look, they believe that their religion gives them the right to take on as many wives as they want. But what I don't understand, if you take on 86 wives and now he's dead, right? The man is dead, he was old and he's he's now dead. So what will happen to these wives? What will happen to, of course, they would then go on, you know, they, they would be husbandless, no husband, all of them all in one place. How much inheritance can the man divide among 86 wives? How many can he really, what does, anyway, you see his house in a minute. <laughs> Nigeria's most famous polygamous seems to be one of the most extraordinary octogenarian living in the world. The 92-year-old Alhaji Babelo Abu Bakr Masaba seems to be okay. What's up with this internet? I very much know. alive to continue marrying more in his lifetime. My internet seems to just be be messing Thank up Abu these Bakr last few days. A total of 185 children, most of whom he had outlived, and 107 wives, 10 from whom he has been divorced. Bello believes that there is no specific cap of numbers of wives and also claims that he's fulfilling a divine purpose by marrying so many women. New Street Media Desk. Okay. Let's watch the other video. Let's see here. Oh no, I've shared, I've shared the wrong, the wrong uh, video. Let's see here. Let's share the wrong one. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. This is it here. Okay, so we've got the right one. And right, here we go. Are they allowed to marry again? That's a good question, Indy. I wish I knew the answer to that. Can you imagine having 86 wives? And yet they're not allowed to go marry someone else after you're dead. I don't know how it works. I really don't know. But it's just so cruel. This is just cruelty. But Indy, wait and just watch. Watch the wives. These people, this man was arrested by the Islamic, uh, the Sharia courts. This man's wives. They were the ones fighting for him. They were the ones saying, no, our husband is good. We want him back. We... Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's let me show you. Wait, which which one is it? I have too many tabs open, so I'm, I'm getting myself in the right. Okay, here we go. Arraigned in a Nigerian court for having 86 wives, he was arrested after challenging any Muslim to prove it was against the laws of Islam to keep more than four. Mm. This is the apartment block where Mohammed Bello housed his women and over 150 children. So the man challenged them. He challenged the Islamic courts that show me where my religion says I can't marry more than four. Show me. But of course, they found him guilty of marrying so many and then sent him off to jail. But guys, just have a look at this. Have a look at this rundown. This is where he housed them all. This is where he was sleeping with all of them. Look at the just, I'll take it back. Mm -mm, we need to see this again so you can get it. Just take it all in. The beauty. Mm. 
Islam to keep more than four. This is the guys. Look, look where eighty-six wives are being housed. Look at this. <laughs> even if you paid me, <laughs> I would. I, no, even if you paid me money to marry this man, I would just look. Just, just leave me alone. No, thank you. I mean, look at this. This is where this man was sleeping with these wives, fathering the children. So now that he's dead, how are they going to split this up now? Look at Indy, Indy, I know it is funny, right? Indy, I just, I don't know what to say. All right. Hmm. I was a part of the Hebrew cult. I had to experience this. My friend had 14 kids and six, my friend had 14 kids six different elders. Are you saying that the Hebrew cult allowed them to marry they're from different men? Please tell me, how does that work? The, are the Hebrew Israelite women allowed to marry several men or what? Oh, wow. Mm. Okay, yes, he was arrested. Yes, yes. Yeah, they're allowed to. Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay, let's <laughs> look at this. Apartment block where Mohammed Bello housed his women and over 150 children. They're <gasps> outraged at his arrest and say he's a good husband and father. They strongly believe God ordained their marriages. <clears throat> if can have a one wife, one, only one wife or two wives, he will get problem. Somebody should think twice that a man with 86 wives, without using anything, He's God that brought us to him. Look at me now. Who is the man can put me inside? Bello has been accused of keeping... So guys, their God brought them to this man, to this house, to this setting, to this life of poverty. It, it was their God that did it. Their God did it. Not anyone else. I didn't do it. You didn't do it. It was their God. Their, it was God arranged. And now here comes his children. These are some of his children about to hear. <laughs> My goodness. Religion will allow people accept some horrendous uh, uh, way of living. Some horrendous lifestyle in the name of religion. Bello has been accused of keeping his family as modern-day slaves, mm. but even his children defend his actions. As you can see, us, look at my younger ones. Do you look like a slave? My father is a real Muslim. You know the front and the back of crime. So he can tell the whole world about the God and the prophet. Mm. So what are they saying? That he's not a real Muslim. It's them that they are... Okay. So he was accused of keeping these women as, or this, the entire family as modern day slaves. And here comes his daughter saying, no, 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 look at us. Just look at us. We look all right, don't we? We look good. Look at us. Look at where we live. Do we look like slaves to you? We don't look like slaves. We're doing okay. We live in, 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 in poverty, but we, we, we're okay. And then she goes further to say that her father is a real Muslim. Her father, because he can read the Quran from front to back. He can tell you everything you need to know about the Quran. Her father is the, he is the moral, uh, um, he's up there when it comes to morality in Islam because he knows the front and back. Huh? Gosh. I'm not Muslim, he's not my father. We were given special access to meet the man behind the controversy that's outraging the country's 70 million Muslims during his stay in prison. 
I stand by my 86 wives. Allah brought them to me. <laughs> the man said, he didn't pursue them. He didn't go looking that God brought those women to him. It was God. And look at him. He's in prison with his, um, I don't know what they call those things that the Muslims used to pray. Right? Because he was an imam. Mm. If I ask them to leave, they won't. Allah said that man should marry one, two, three, or four wives at the most. But when God gives an instruction, he must prescribe a punishment for contravening it. But Allah did not prescribe any punishment for marrying more than four wives. Hundreds of people have gathered here in Bida Town to condemn the actions of Bello marrying 86 wives. They say it's against the laws of Islam, and if he's released from prison, they won't let him back into this town. It's inhumane for a man to keep how many wives? 86 wives. But somehow, somehow he's able to provide for them. They have actually protested for his release. As I've already said earlier, as a good Muslim, he must obey what Allah has said in the Quran. Now he had. Gosh, then she speaks women good in English. Fifteen women in a room as wife. Is that right? The region's spiritual leader and the local Sharia courts accused Bella of blasphemy for saying Allah told him to marry eighty-six wives. We will believe that he's not a Muslim. No, oh, he's not a real the Muslim. This only is a Muslim. The problem for the authorities is that Nigeria's laws contain no limits on how many women a man can marry. Bello is charged with insulting religion and has been asked to divorce 82 of his wives just to keep the peace. I am not going to divorce any of my wives or leave my town. I have not committed any offense. He'll appear in court on October 6th to answer the charge. Yvonne Day Does this one... Does this man look like somebody who's capable of looking after 86 wives? I mean, look at him. Is he capable of looking after them? Well. Wow. Okay, Al Jazeera, Bida, Nigeria. Hmm. Guys, you would think that it's just him, right? Just him that has this problem of marrying many, many, many wives. Some years ago in Nigeria, we had a, um, there was a senator, right? A Muslim senator. He said, well, just one second. Let me share, let me share my screen. I don't usually just like talking. I like you to see what I'm looking at or what, you know, the videos and stuff. So just one second, let me share this screen here. Yeah, it's interesting, absolutely interesting. Tell me about it. So can any of you be a wife number, uh, what? Can you? any of you be part of this harem? <laughs> I'd rather be single all my life. I would rather be single all my life than to be in this harem. Okay, so now Nigeria is a very... Um, religious country 50 percent christians 49 point something percent muslims atheists and the others but they call them the others so when they say the others that includes uh, agnostics atheists the traditional worshipers right very very small number very these people love you know their religion means a lot so this senator here decided he wants to marry a 13 year old now most men are allowed to marry uh several wives although the country does frown on but they use religion as a um as their backup they use religion as their excuse for their behavior and the things they do so anyway this senator, he is, was, is, was, is, was a, um, um, a politician and he decided to grab himself a 13-year-old, right? 
it's what he said that's really, really, uh, so let me increase this here. Okay. So his name is Senator. Senator Yerima has defended his decision to marry the 13-year-old, saying it is Islamic. This man says, I can marry my 13-year-old bride because it is Islamic. He said, if there is anybody who will tell me that what you did contradicts Islam, I will submit and I will do whatever they ask me to do. Because of course people were challenging him. You're supposed to be the lawmaker in this country. And here you are going to go and marry yourself a 13 year old. What are you doing? He says, no, 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 no. My religion Islam says it's okay for me to marry my 13 year old. There are no, there are no uh, uh, consequences for my actions. If you can find me consequences, if you can find me anywhere in, in my book that says I cannot marry my 13-year-old bride, then I, I will not marry her. Hmm? So the Nigerian human rights organizations say that Yerima has broken the law and have called for his immediate arrest. If you have a law that says you cannot marry a 13-year-old, if you no, if yeah, if you have a law that says you cannot marry a fifteen year old, then why on why on then then why on God's green earth will a guy who is a senator, who makes laws, violate and break those same laws? It's because he thinks the law is not applicable to him. But guess what, guys? He went ahead because nobody could point out in his book where it is, it says that it is not okay for him to marry his child bride. And he went ahead and married her. He went ahead and married her. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nigeria and, you know, parts of Africa now are really having a big problem when it comes to child bride. This child bride thing, I think they even started a, a, a hashtag uh, on Twitter, uh, no child bride, something like that. Uh, da, 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 I forgot what the uh, the hashtag is, because for some reason most of these men just think they can just grab themselves a thirteen, and in some cases it's the parents of these young girls that take their daughters to these men because they're important men in society. These men can give them money. These men can, you know, poor families. They've got hardly any money, but they've got daughters. So yes, let's take our daughter there. Let him marry her. And then they'll, they'll, they'll have money given to them. Let me see if I can find um, uh, what you call it now. Hmm. Okay, we'll watch a quick video and um, we'll be done here. Oh gosh, this is going to break my heart. It's going to be really heartbreaking. Do you guys want to watch this video? There's, um, there's a video about child marriage, a growing issue in cent Central Africa. Do you guys want to see it? About 12 year old and their 50 year old husbands. This is going to really, really break my heart. I don't know if I can do this. Do you guys want to see it? Hey everyone, hello and thanks for joining. This was just going to be a really quick uh, Hey, we've got look out for number one. Hello, uh, Randolph. Hello, good to see you here. Do you guys want to see? You can't, you can't. Okay, all right, no worries.
the poor child. Yeah. Okay. I I will play the video, but if it gets too much, I'll stop. Oh, sorry, sorry. I I was in a completely different um window, so I I didn't realize I'd left you on the screen. I apologize, honestly. <laughs> Okay, let, let me share this here. I hate this clicky mouse, but I, I, um, thanks to Parilla Time, I'll be getting myself a, a, a less clicky mouse today. All right. Do you believe that God has given you the no, power to create wealth? No, I don't. And she wanted to be a teacher. Hmm. Guys, it's what are your thoughts? I have no words, neither do I. Words fail me. Brian Stevens, good to see you here. Words fail. Don't apologize. This is disgusting and truly hard to watch. Oh my gosh. 12 year old having babies. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, just one last video and then be out of here. Gosh. Okay, let's have a look here. So heartbreaking, isn't it? So heartbreaking. I don't know what's up with this internet. For some reason, it's just... Oh God. I honestly don't know what's wrong. Why is it... Doing this. Hello, I'm Annette Young, and welcome to the 51 percent. I may have to stop this stream and then just figure out something because I don't know why this is happening. A show about women reshaping our world. Coming up, how young mm -mm -mm. this is getting really bad. Okay, let me let me turn my camera off. I don't know if that would be any good. Girls in southern Nigeria are viewed as being worth no more than cattle or property. We meet those fighting to stop little girls from being sold off into marriage. Also, abortion rights continue to be under siege in America. We'll be talking to Washington-based Politico reporter Alice Holstein about the toll the battle is taking, not just on reproductive rights, but also those campaigning for them. And the Indian theatre group, who are determined to challenge beauty... Okay, let's get on to the news. ...experience as a child bride is nothing short of modern-day slavery. Nigeria, which according to UN figures has the largest number of child brides in Africa. For many, what they experience as a child bride is nothing short of modern day slavery. In parts of the South, there's been a long held tradition of selling off young girls into marriage for money. It's a practice that some are now trying to bring to an end, as Anna Cunningham reports. Rose lost her childhood, age 12, married off to an older man in exchange for money. She was enslaved, kept to work the fields day in, day out raped and beaten. She miscarried twice. Mm, Her escape gosh. came when washing clothes by the river. She ran and never returned. I'm angry because it was not my age and it's not my age. I mean, small girl. I'm going to marry somebody that crossed 60 years. Age 20, Rose is now a mother. Mm. Her child's father is someone she chose and fell for. But in the community, she will always be known as a money wife, something her child's father could not cope with, and he left. It was Rose's mother who sold her off in exchange for 100 euros. 
I said, now because of my mother, baby, we oh, they worry for my own side, like me, woman. It's here in these poor communities, deep in the heart of Cross River State, that missionary Pastor Richards has been working, trying to bring an end to this tradition. His work is not always welcomed. There are actual areas where I can't really go now because the threat is high. The threat is high. Phone threats, physical threats. His visits to these rural areas are welcomed by those he has helped. <coughs> like this woman who regrets selling her two grandchildren. One of the girls, Happiness, has never been to school. She was sold off age three and kept for 12 years. In the Cross River state capital, Calabar, campaigners want to stop this tradition. By the time you, 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 you meet with the government and the government says this is bad, this is wrong, going down there to get the people of the community, the stakeholders, the gatekeepers, the chiefs, to understand that money marriage is an evil practice, it's a crime against humanity, and they should end it. It's a, it's a, a big problem. At home in the town of Abanliku, Pastor Richards and his family look after victims of child marriage. One so this is where... Uh, this is going to be a bit controversial what I'm going to say. Um, yes, what he's doing is good, right? He's a missionary. Mission, his mission is good. But what is he offering these people? These people who go in with the, the missions, the missionaries, what is at stake here? What is he offering in return for, no, not in return, but what is he, what does he tell these people? What does it say? Stop child bride because God hates it or because God will punish you or because, you know, what, what, what are we, I'm, 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 I would be curious to find out what he's telling these people. And what are the odds that he will have his little church and, you know, these people who he's taking away from this child marriage uh, uh, thing, he's recruiting them into his, into his little church because this already, this, seeing this here, this already screams church. This already looks like a little church. This is how church usually starts at home just get three four chairs and you know they come and have fellowship i appreciate what he's doing but hmm, when religion is attached to the work they do when they uh, uh, it comes with some form of religion i i don't know i hmm, i'm not very i appreciate it don't get me wrong guys honestly i would rather someone is doing something but, gosh, then he will go and tell these young girls who've been through all these horrendous things, if you don't receive Jesus into your heart, you're going to die, you're going to go to hell and burn for all. So it's like these people have it bad at every angle. The one who will come along to save them will still be, 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 be threatening them with hell and this evil God who sits there and is looking to punish them. And listen, I know it's controversial what I'm saying. I'm not trying to, uh, uh, to take for granted the work that he's doing, but I, I have a problem when it comes to these missions, missionaries in the name of religion it's a big problem and randolph i know me and randolph we've talked about um i think i need to get on with that you know just the problem of missionaries in africa we need i need to get on because that's something that really uh it's easy uh, i struggle with that concept i really do mm. one of them called miracle had been held captive she was to replace two other sisters who had both been married off but died young. Miracle's future is now more secure. But for others, where money needs to be found or a debt paid, they are still destined to be married off young, living life as a prisoner of this tradition. Mm.
Sorry, guys. Now, reproductive rights in America continue to... Okay. Reproductive be rights a in America. Issue. Last month, Planned Parenthood... Reproductive rights in America. That's... Uh, that's uh, that's another that's another subject that. DJ Isaac Muhammad, Koma ni erkanu je. Okay, let me turn off my camera. Koma among auri ina deshi kara go masha uku did the chiwa mu pilani ni koma ya hati de gida na malamai. To she is a Gaskia and the Haru Bum Marina Tarit if I met all about Gidamo to Taka Shikara Wumasha. Among the Magana Puma, sorry, guys, silly. Sorry, guys, 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 sorry, so she comes from a, a family of Islamic clerics. She was married at the age of 13. And even now, in their family, a girl cannot be more than 14 without getting married off. This is in a family of Islamic clerics. If you're 15, <laughs> you're too old. You shouldn't even be at home. You should be in your in your in your husband's home. This is just uh, I don't know. It's not like there's anything I can do. There really is nothing I can do. We can just keep talking about this and keep hoping that that people. I don't know. I just it's so hard. This is hard. It's a vicious circle. I completely agree. Vicious circle. Because on the one hand, these girls in this in the community there, if they're at home and they're 16, 17, 18, everyone looks at them as being old. They start to make fun of them, right? They just, I don't know, I just, ah, this is a really hard one. The problem is the solution, which the problem is the solution is not religious, it is political. But the present system of politics is greed driven and not human well being driven. That's absolutely correct. Until you place people over money. Rashid, hello. Is this an advert for Islam? I'm going to convert for that young girl marriage. Oh, come on, don't you dare, man. Why would you want to marry a girl who doesn't want to be with you? Why would you want to marry when you, you saw that man the way, you know, that girl? I, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how you how you sleep with somebody who isn't uh, who isn't who isn't pleased to want to sleep with you. I don't know how people do it. Can you imagine having sex with somebody who you can tell from their body language, you can tell from everything. That they do not want to engage in that act with you. If that person says no, then you're raping them. If that person does not give consent, whether implied, whether uh, uh, spoken, whether you know whatever uh, way consent is given, if you don't get consent, unfortunately, you convert to the religion. You just want to go. If if you don't, if you're not getting consent. From these young girls unfortunately you're raping you're raping a youngster and to me that's 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 a horrible crime i don't see it as a good thing i don't see it as something anyone should want to um to do i don't know it's just just the way i feel i, I think it's a joke but mm, that's just you know That's just terrible, isn't it? Why would anyone want to convert to that religion so you can go get child bride, a child bride for yourself? Why? Just sickening, 
those. If it's a joke, it's an expensive joke. It's an expensive joke. Aurea, but I don't want to take a shot. I'm going to shoot. I'm on fire. I'm so mad at her. So, my God, I'm going to take a man. I'm going to shoot. 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 I'm going to sh
I don't know. Isn't this heartbreaking? Religion is just a tool. It is used by those who fundamentally want control over others. When it is not, when it is not used that way, it is basically inert. Hey, Veiled Rose. Hello. Good to see you. Steve McRae. Hello. Good to see you here. Mm. Oh, well. This stream, uh, some of you weren't here. The stream started off with the um, the man who, one man and 86 wives. I will play that video again and we'll be done. I need you to see where this man was housing his 86 wives. Altogether, he married 120. Even the Muslims, even the Muslims in Nigeria said, no, this is not, we're not going to allow this. They took him to court. He was arrested and taken to court. The Muslim says, but Allah says you can only marry four. He says, no. What? Where, where in the Quran does it say I cannot marry more than four? So the battle between him and the Sharia courts. He was sentenced, went to jail, but they told him, you've got to divorce your, how many, 80... 82, he's got to divorce 82 and keep four. He said, no, he wasn't doing it. <laughs> Child marriage is not just a third world problem. Child marriage happens every in America. A lot of people don't realize that. Steve McRae manager, this is, to me, I sometimes, I have to, I in my head, I wonder how people get... An erection trying to sleep with a child. I don't, I can never be in that headspace. I would never be able to figure it out. It would never be a thing for me. I just don't know how these people do it. I don't know what the, what the, um, what's special about it. I don't know. For me, sex is better with a consenting mate with somebody who together we know what we're in it for we we we're agreeing together we 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 know what's on the table there's no power struggle between either of us there's no he's up there i'm down there or i'm up there he's no we're equals that makes that you that for me that's already when all those boxes are ticked then the sex becomes you know it already starts off on a good note you can then allow yourself to enjoy the uh enjoy the 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 whatever you're doing enjoy the moment enjoy your uh you know it gives so much pleasure when you and that person oh, you know what i think it's just me <laughs> Some people may not see it the way I see it, unfortunately. Ah. One of the worst groups historically for child marriages is Christian nationalism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The quiverful, I'm sure that some of them still, they have the quiverful uh, movement. They want to have as many kids. And then most of them will have lots of girls and then these girls before you know it are married off and like the the event we we like the show we had yesterday uh fathers now are made to become their daughter's husband no no daughter's boyfriends mm, mm, mm. okay indy says i'm glad i grew up without you aren't you lucky indy Aren't you lucky? So lucky you are. So lucky. All right, okay, let me, one second. Oh, God, what happened to the video? Mm. <laughs> Let's see, where is Muhammad uh, Abu Bakr?
Ok. Let me share my screen here. Arraigned in a Nigerian court for having 86 wives, he was arrested after challenging any Muslim to prove it was against the laws of Islam to keep more than four. <laughs> this is the apartment block where Mohammed Bello housed his women and over 150 children. They're outraged. Please. Okay, you guys need to see this beauty. <laughs> so guys, here is where Oh, Indy, see you later. Have a good weekend too. Here is where this man had his 100, uh, how many wives? Sorry, 86 wives. 100 and how many women? I uh, know, children. 86, yeah, yeah. This is where the action took place. This is where I'm sure he had the, the penthouse. <laughs> I'm sure he was up there in the penthouse having having his sexy time up there. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Gosh. A block where Mohammed Bello housed his women and over 150 children. They're wow. outraged at his arrest and say he's a good well, husband and father. They strongly children. believe God ordained their marriages. A man can have a one wife, one, only one wife or two wives, he will get problem. Somebody should think twice that a man with 86 wives, without using anything, is God that brought us to him. Look at me now. Who is a man? This is one of the wives. Apparently, God brought them to the man. It was all God ordained. Because you know, God is always in the details. God is always in the everything when it comes to religion, right? God, 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 God brings wives to people. He doesn't bring one wife. He doesn't bring two wives. He brings 86. And guess what, guys? This man, he still would believe that when he dies, he's still going to get his 72 virgins in the heavens. It's just a sex fest. Sex galore on earth, in hell, just keep on, just do it, just do it. <laughs> what do these women get? Some of these women, when would they get to sleep with Abu Bakr? And apparently most of them are below the age of 30. He's dead now. He died uh, 20, what year? I don't know. He, he died died and left all this behind mm. can put me inside bello has been accused of keeping his family as modern day slaves but even his children defend his actions as you can see us look at my younger ones do you look like a slave my father is a real muslim you know the front and the back of Quran, so he can tell the whole world about the God and the Prophet. Mm -hmm. So, what are they saying that is not a real Muslim? Guys, did you let me take that back? You can hear hear what she said. Said her father is the real Muslim. That's because he was accused of uh, keeping them as modern day slaves. She said, "No, look at us. Look, at, just have a look at us. Aren't we looking so beautiful, so nice? We're looking. Uh, we don't look like modern day slaves." And my father, he is the real Muslim. He can read the Quran front, front to back. He knows it all. He's the real Muslim. Mm. Look at me now. Who is the man can put me inside? Bello has been accused of keeping his family as modern day slaves, but even his children defend his actions. As you can see, us, look at my younger ones. Do you look like a slave? My father is a real Muslim. You know the front and the back of Quran. 
so he can tell the whole world about the God and the prophet. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? That is not a real Muslim. It's them that they are not Muslim. It's not my father. Okay, the people who are saying, the Muslims who say that he, their father is not a real Muslim, those ones are not the real Muslims. But their father, he is the real Muslim because he knows the Quran front to back. Hmm? Those ones are not, the, their, their father, he's the real one, you see? We were given special access to meet the man behind the controversy that's outraging the country's 70 million Muslims during his stay in prison. 70 million Muslims in one country. I stand by my 86 wives. Allah brought them to me. If I ask them to leave, they won't. Allah said that man should marry one, two, three or four wives at the most. But when God gives an instruction, he must prescribe a punishment for contravening it. But Allah did not prescribe any punishment for marrying more than four wives. To hell with anybody supporting Bello. Allah Hundreds of people have gathered here in Bida Town to condemn the actions of Bello marrying 86 wives. They say it's against the laws of Islam, and if he's released from prison, they won't let him back into this town. It's in mind for a man to keep how many wives? 86 wives. But somehow, somehow he's able to provide for them. No, they have isn't. actually protested for his release. As I've already said earlier on, as a good Muslim, he must obey what Allah has said mm. in the Quran. Now he had 10 women in a room as wives, 15 women in a room as wives. Is that right? The region's spiritual leader and the local Sharia courts accused Bella of blasphemy mm. for saying Allah told him to marry 86 wives. We will believe that he's not a Muslim because they will also disown him as a Muslim. The problem for the authorities is that Nigeria's laws contain no limits on how many women a man can marry. Bello is charged with insulting religion and has been asked to divorce 82 of his wives just to keep the peace. I am not going to divorce any of my wives or leave my town. Guys, I mean, just take, take, take a look. Just take it all in. Take a look at the man who has 86 wives. Well, he had, sorry. He had, because he's he's no longer with us. He's, he's died at the age of 90, uh, something. At this stage where he was here, he was, he was an old man. I mean, look at him. <sighs> still here, old man still here, defending his right to keep all his wives. Even in the face of jail, he said, we will put you in jail. You've got to divorce 82. The man said, no, I would rather go to jail than divorce my 82 wives. He said, Islam says keep four. God, wow. I don't know how people, how, I don't know how people begin and end. <laughs> how will he remember the names of his wives? Oh my goodness, I tell you, these people. I have not committed any offense. Not at all. He hasn't. He'll appear in court on October 6th to answer the charge. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Bida, Nigeria. Hmm. Oh, well, there we go. My goodness. Hmm. So now that he is dead, what happens to the wives? And Indy asked a really good question, which I really don't know. Indy asked, can they remarry? I don't know if they can remarry or not. I hope they can. I hope they can. At least they deserve that to move on. And uh, But I don't know. Just... Um, just some of these women, uh, you know, guys... There's things running through my mind. There are things running through my mind. Mm, you know, that part of my mind that sometimes thinks those crazy, crazy things. And I share it with you guys because you guys are quite, uh, you guys are quite open-minded here. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, is it possible that some of these women, these 86 women, some of them just 
get with each other. Is it possible that some of them in that beautiful palace that you saw, that some of them are having lesbian affairs? <laughs> it will make sense. To me, it will make sense. It just, why not? Just why not? When Abu Bakr is with wife number 50 and wife number 42, yeah, all the other ones just help yourselves. Help, help yourselves by being with yourselves. It just makes sense. In my mind, it makes sense. <laughs> Some other people, maybe not, but, and I would not be surprised. Some of these women would be really young, really, really young. Absolutely crazy. I paid for my beaches. They are mine. Nasty. Very nasty indeed. Mm. You know, he said God brought God brought them to him. Mm? God. I wonder how many of those 86 wives had boyfriends. Girlfriends. What about girlfriends? Mm -hmm. Don't 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 miss that one out. What about girlfriends? And now you've got how many? One woman has 80, 85 to choose from. Listen, just keep it in-house. Just keep it in the family, you know? Just keep it there. It's nice. <laughs> ah, I've seen that even in Southern Ohio, church leaders not only have influence with the populace, but with the Chamber of Commerce. Hmm. America is a very uh, funny, America is really funny, very religious, but still it's the religious people who want to hold on to this uh, child's marriage thing. It's, it's really, um, really tricky one that one is. Mm. Religion is the biggest money-making racket and con trick to keep the rich in their divine rights and poor in chains. I completely agree. Combine influence and charisma and the tendency to gain the system. Thus, you have problematics. Influence and charisma and the tendency to gain the system. If you have all those things, the world is your oyster. You just go. Just Mm. Well, that is a big possibility because there are no other alternatives to suffice their needs. It'll make sense. It, honestly, to me, it would just make sense to for the ladies to have, you know, just have a lesbian relationship with one of your co-wives. That way, you know, no one needs to know. Well, you know, of course, you, you in that kind of house, you can't really hide a lot of things, but you just never know. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if that's going on there. I wouldn't. He did not know what he had. He might even have known it, Steve. That's the that's the crazy part. He may even have known. You know, for some reason, I don't know why this is the case. A lot of men, well, some of the men I've spoken to seem to think this way. They would rather watch two women have sex than has than watch two men have sex. I've I've heard quite a few people say this. They've they would rather for them watch watching two men have sex. Oh, it's disgusting. It's uh, you know, but two women. Oh, yes, they want to see it. They want to, you know. That for, it, it gets them off watching two women being together, and then for them to even join in on the action. Oh, that is that is a, a heaven, heaven on earth, if they can join in on the action. Two women being together, or several women together. They yes, just. So men, that's the thing they, they, they crave. They want that. Give me that. So 
Abu Bakr might have known. Maybe that's what he might even have encouraged it. You just never know. Some people are just like that. Religion started with incest. So anything. Mm. Mm. Religion, incest. Ooh. Says, I bet he knew. Yes, Brian Stevens. He may even have been the one, you know, encouraging them to be together. Because how else? He was threatened with jail. And he says, no, I, I want to divorce them. So there must be other things going on there. And most of them were below the age of 30. Young girls still got their whole lives ahead of them. Abu Bakr knows, he would have known, that he can't sleep with all of them. He, 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 there's no way he can satisfy them sexually. There's just no way. And I doubt he would engage in um, using uh, uh, sexual uh, with sex toys. And no, the men like Abu Bakr, the only sex toy is his, his, his penis. His penis is the only sex toy to be used. Anything else? No. Hmm. Oh, saying that, I, okay, 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 before I go, okay, I, I saw this video, uh, let me see, let me find it first. <laughs> I saw this video somewhere, and it really got me, it just made, made me laugh with the last kid. Some people are just crazy. It was a, um, a pastor, a pastor in Nigeria said, men cannot use their mouth on a woman's private part. You cannot use the same mouth that you use to praise God on the private part of your of the woman. So let me find it. Um, see if I can find it. Okay, sure I'll find it in a second. Oh, here we go. Found it. A woman private part. This fasting and prayer is not for you. See that boy, Aka. See, I stop putting mouth in a woman's private part. Okay, they should tell each other, stop putting amen and in amen. church. Amen. So this is church, right? Church. So they're about to embark on prayer and fasting, and he's telling them, stop putting your mouth in a woman's private part. They should tell each other. Stop, tell the one that, you know what in church they tell you, oh, uh, look to your neighbor on your left and look to your neighbor on the right and tell them this and that. And so he says, tell your neighbor <laughs> to put them <laughs> in a <her> wood. <laughs> ah, I tell you, some churches... Ah, yeah. How do you want to prosper? The same mount where the Bible says that the power of life and death lies in your tongue. You carry the same mount inside a woman's private part. Even if it was a Watch most of those boys doing that. Small charm will catch them. Small charm like this. Even when somebody just call your name with you, it will affect you. Mm -hmm. From a place, if you are putting your mouth in a woman's private part, this fasting and prayer is not for you. See that boy, Aka? See her stop putting mouth in a woman's private part. Amen and amen. Amen. How do you want to prosper? The same mount where the Bible says that the power of life and death lies in your tongue. You carry the same mount inside a woman private part. Even if was some Watch most of those boys doing that. Small charm will catch them. Small charm like this. Even when somebody just call your name with you, it will affect you. From a place, if you are putting your mouth in a woman's private part, 
this fasting and prayer is not for you. See that boy, Aka. See her stop putting mouth in a woman's private part. Amen and amen. Amen. How do you want to prosper? The same mouth where the Bible says that the power of life and death lies in your tongue. You carry the same mouth inside a woman's private part. So the power of life and death is in your tongue. Do not put that same tongue in woman's private part. That's that's uh, the church advice. <laughs> this is what some people teach in church to their parishioners. Well, guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it for now. Um, so later on, 7 p.m., so in about three hours, in about three hours, I'm going to be live on uh, Skeptic Haven. Uh, myself, Dean Kruger, and Dr. Leo Igwe. Myself and Dean, we're going to be interviewing Dr. Leo Igwe. He's an awesome, awesome humanist over in Nigeria, doing some fantastic work, challenging uh, uh, religion. He He's very uh, close with uh, Mubarak Bala, and also he uh, has an organization that uh, he set up for what you call it now to challenge uh, people who have been accused of being witches. Because, you know, in Nigeria still has that big problem when your, your pastor accuses people of uh, being witches god told them that this person is a witch and god told them you know so people uh you know it's a, it's a huge really big deal what he does and so yes we will be talking to him later on let me see if i can find the link to the uh video on skeptic haven if 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 there's any moderators in the chat if you can help me that would be fantastic oh, i need to go and find it so please subscribe and um, I'll be there in three hours time to interview. Okay, let me see if I can find it here. Ah, here we go. This is it here. Yes, you adore Leo Igwe. I do too. Hmm. When I heard this opportunity was coming, I had to. Yes, I said, do not, do not come. Just make sure I am on that panel talking to Leo Igwe. And also, guys, I'm, I'm going to get Leo Igwe on this channel. So watch this space. Leo Igwe is going to be here. We, we're, we're in talks. I sent him a message. So uh yes fantastic presenter ah thank you thank you very much and that's that that means a lot coming from you randolph i'll be in touch about the um you know what me and you what we had the conversation about i'll be in touch about that so yes jaded atheist thank you very much yes you'll be there in three hours thank you thank you robin and i will see you all make sure to subscribe to that channel they're so close to getting to a thousand skeptic haven so yes I'll see you all later on. You all take care of yourselves and see you in three hours. If I can find my outro music. Where did my outro music go? Where is it? There we go.